up, I had no idea Big Brothers Big Sisters even existed. I had heard about mentorship programs, had seen things in the community, but wasn't aware that there was a formal uh, mentorship program with one-to-one -one mentoring. The experience for me when I was getting into it, I knew I was fortunate to have the childhood and upbringing I did and knew that that might not be the same for every kid in our community and the kids that we serve. We often talk and meet, usually around once a week. It makes me feel pretty good to have somebody like talk to if I want to ever talk to somebody about something. Our first meet we had was we went to one of the parks near my house. We, I call it the castle park because like on the tops it looks kind of like a big pyramid how we have on like a castle, the top of castles. And basically, we just hang out, we ran around, stuff like that. Fortunately, that we have the agency backing. Uh, we can choose to do low to no cost activities on our own like we do, going to restaurants and parks. But thanks to our donors, uh, we have the opportunity to do really big things like FC Cincinnati, UK men's basketball. So we're fortunate to have that network of donors that give us all kinds of opportunities that are first for both of us. You need somebody to talk to or you feel like you want to connect with somebody because maybe like you can feel a bit like lonely or sad or might be feeling a little bit depressed. Patrick has always been open for everything and I've always been open to him because I can trust him with stuff. I think it's just helped me with perspective and gratitude overall. Uh, we've both got to do things that we've never done before. Um, so just an overall sense of gratitude for the opportunity to be involved in Joe's life. I feel like every child should have the opportunity to, to, to like have that person who they can just hang out when they're like feeling down or anything. Like